what we're going to talk about today is the relationship between uh, three different components that are found in just about every single type of alternating current uh, circuit. Uh, we have obviously resistance uh, in many circuits. We have inductors uh, that are known as uh, motors and transformers. And we also have capacitors that help many of our uh, uh, circuits as well to get like a leading power factor. Uh, you know, we find capacitors inside of motors. But these three components, resistors, inductors, and capacitors, are found in just about every single type of uh, alternating circuit. So the relationship between uh, voltage and current is what we're going to talk about uh, when it deals with these components. So the first one uh, is resistance. Okay? In a purely resistive circuit, uh, the voltage and the current are always in phase with, with each other. And that means that as the voltage rises in a sine wave and drops, the current is right with it. Both the voltage and the current will rise and fall uh, together in a purely resistive circuit. However, in an inductive circuit, okay, the relationship between voltage and current in a purely in inductive circuit, the voltage and current are out of phase. Okay? And they're out of phase by, by 90 degrees. So in, in many cases, when the voltage rises and falls, the current is 90 degrees behind it. Okay, and this is what we call current uh, lags the voltage. Another way of saying current lags the voltage is saying uh, voltage leads the current. But in a purely inductive circuit, both the voltage and current will be out of phase uh, by 90 degrees. The third component has to deal with capacitance in a circuit, uh, and, it's, and it's the same as uh, inductors, except it's the other way around with the current. Uh, the current leads the voltage in this case. Uh, and, and we want capa capacitors are designed to do that. Capacitors are designed to create what's known as a leading power factor uh, in many of these types of circuits. So when the voltage rises and falls, uh, the current is slightly ahead of the sine wave in respect. So we say that the current leads the voltage, or we can also say that the voltage lags the current. It's the same thing as, as, uh, as current leading the voltage. But these are the three components that are found in uh, just about every single alternating you know, current type circuit. And this is the relationships between the voltage and the current uh, with each one of these components. Uh, this information is, is necessary uh, in the upcoming lessons because uh, we have to understand how the relationship between voltage and current works with these types of components, okay? Uh, but besides that, that's, that's really about it. Hopefully you guys uh, liked the video and got a little bit better understanding of it. So uh, if you get a chance, give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, hope this video helps out. Peace.